For some, a dog is like their child. Sometimes it's all a person has. They've been like, you know, my kids until now I have a two year old, but so they're all my kids. So I have four kids. <laughs> Sherry Bourdon has three dogs of her own and knows how scary it is leaving a furry friend in an unfamiliar place. Like many pet owners, the last thing they want to hear is something went wrong. Anything could happen from the littlest thing to the biggest thing that you, you know, you don't want to have to think about because it would drive you nuts. Recent grooming injuries and deaths in the U.S. are sparking discussion here in Syracuse. I'm seeing a lot of doggy daycares that are opening all of a sudden, and they're, from what I've seen, there's, there's some issues that are happening, um, and one of the issues is um, a lot of injuries. Bark Avenue owner Cindy Murdeck says groomers are not required to have a grooming license in the state of New York which means almost anyone can pick up a pair of sharp scissors and start chopping. There's a lot of things that are happening in the dog world that shouldn't be happening. But inside her shop, every paw that walks through the door gets the works. From a soapy scrub to buffing the nails and brushing their coats. And when it comes to drying, Murdeck says they don't even use heat. You know, we want to make sure that the blower is not too close to their skin. You know, that we, we really are careful in terms of how we're handling the dog so that we don't incur any injuries. If you have the proper training and the right equipment, this certified groomer says every animal should be wagging their tail when they leave. Free of fear or any injuries. For now reporting in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Thackerman.